Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. Thank you for spending some time with me by watching this video. In this video, I'm going to be going over my sinking funds, which is basically my everyday savings. And I am going to be stuffing these envelopes and increasing them just a bit with some recent income. Uh, the income sources that I'm using are side income, my regular job. I'm starting out with this amount that I am going to be stuffing into these envelopes. So prior to this, I went ahead and did my my uh, cash envelope stuffing, which included my variable expenses for the week. And I also uh, put money aside for taxes for the side income that I have coming in. So there are a couple sources, as I said, and um, we're going to count this money together and see what we have left because this is after bills. This is after variables are accounted for and this is now just ready to be saved. And I'm hiding my thumb because I just, I ripped off a hangnail and I shouldn't have done that. I don't know what got into me, but I was like, this thing's driving me crazy. So anyways, I'm, I apologize for that. We have 100, 200, 253, 350, four, 455, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 8, 20, 30, 835. So we have $835 to start with. All right, so that is going to be divvied up amongst these categories. And as I said, prior to this video, I went ahead and did my cash envelopes. So I explain like what I'm doing with all of these. These are all stuffed, as you can see. So these are ready to go for expenses this week and things that I have to buy. So that video um, is available if you're interested in that. But we are going to open up the budget planner and we're gonna to go to this week because we have a whole section on sinking funds that we can populate. So I'm gonna open this. Look how close I get to that. Um, this is a tool notebook cover and my insert is a big happy planner in like the watercolors variety or watercolors version from 2019 18th month planner. So this is how I've been doing my budget. You can see how it is segmented into um, different categories. So we have pay at the top, sinking funds, cash envelopes, and then bills for the, ne the next month. So that's how I've been doing it. As you can see, this is this week. I have my income up here. I have sinking funds that we're gonna work on now. My cash envelopes down here, and then July bills are already ready to go. So I have all the money put aside for those. So let's zoom in. Well, I'm going to, first of all, start off by listing all the categories. So I only have four, just like my um, cash envelopes. I only have four categories for those as well. And I've been doing it that way just because I think that it keeps everything really basic and yet streamlined. For sinking funds, I have Christmas, dogs, savings, and emergency. The emergency fund is something that I am trying to save up six months worth of my salary. So if you are familiar with like the Dave Ramsey system of budgeting, um, he recommends, I think, saving something like six months worth of your bills. My salary pretty much equals that. So I'm trying to save up six months worth of salary. Now, my salary is going down but before it was 15, 16 plus 15, oh goodness, 15, 16 plus 15, 14, around thereabouts. Um, 30, 30 times six is $18,180. So that's a big number and I'm nowhere near there. And the reason why I wanna do that is because I had a recent setback with my job, a couple different setbacks that you know are going to add up quite a bit for me. And I wanted to make sure that I started really saving for the future just in case, I don't know, in case I lose my job altogether. So right now I have 1570 in that. 
emergency fund and I'm trying to get to $18,180. Huge, huge, huge number um, for me. I mean, everybody is, um, that's subjective for everybody, but that's a big number for me. So for Christmas, I am going to be adding, well, let's look at the previous balance first. I like to do it this way. So for Christmas, I'm using a new card. So I just used, this is just a blank note card. But for Christmas, I had 520. So previous balance. I think this is helpful because I also like to look back on this and see how it grows. And I think that's, you know, really satisfying. Um, or also see if I've had to take money from it um, because that's already happened to me. And I'm sure it will happen again where I dip into these when I shouldn't. But um, yeah, I like to track every single week because I really am pretty much a visual person and I like to see how things, um, how they grow, you know. So I don't know. I just think that's helpful for me. So for Christmas, I had $520 and then I am going to add this week. And I'm going to add $100, which I think is a really good amount. And then new balance. I'm just trying to see how I did it last time because I'm trying to have all of these sheets look identical. So I have like, you know, a system down. So I'm going to have $620. So I think in my next, um, in an upcoming video, I think I'm going to do two things. I think I'm going to do an upcoming video where I go over my sinking funds and I try to uh, determine what my goals are because right now I don't really have anything written down as far as a goal. I mean, I know how much I need to save to actually, you know, get to my emergency of, uh, fund amount, but I don't have an end goal for what I want to save for the dogs and what I want to save for Christmas, what I like to have in my savings. I mean, I think that the dog's envelope and the Christmas envelope is a little bit more finite than the savings envelope because savings, I would like to just keep padding that. And for my savings, that is pretty much anything that doesn't include, and it doesn't fit into dogs, anything that doesn't fit into Christmas club and anything that's not designated for my emergency fund. That's how I'm categorizing savings. So for the dogs, I am going to add $55. And again, I think that's a decent amount for this week. For $259 plus $55 is $314. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to write all this out and then I'll go back in and I'll stuff the cash. I made these new cards just because I wanted to um, rewrite everything because I was writing out of space on the little slip of paper that I've been using. And so I just thought, you know what, while I'm, while I'm at it, let me just redo it. So previous balance is 259. I am adding 55. And that brings new balance to an odd number, but that's because at one point I had extra ones. So new balance is going to be 314. Okay. So that is the dog fund. So let's go to savings. I want to try to do emergency last. Savings is where I kind of dipped in at one point, and that was for the taxes for my side income. And the reason why I had to do that is because I hadn't been putting aside taxes for my side income, and that's a huge mistake. So I needed to actually um, rectify that, correct that situation, and um, I took it out of the savings. So today I'm going to add to my savings $250. Now I have to say, and I feel like I need to make this statement every time I do one of these videos, um, it does look like, you know, I have quite a bit to add to sinking funds and I, I feel like I do, but I wanted to say that would not be possible if I wasn't working this side income situation. So that's um, been a blessing for sure. So June 18th, and then I'm going to have 850. I think that's, you know, decent, 
especially, you know, given the circumstances and things like that, that I've been going through. And it just, you know, it just keeps getting harder and harder and harder. Um, and it becomes a little bit exhausting to try and keep up a positive attitude about it sometimes. But what else can you do when you have a situation that is completely out of your control? I mean, what's the point in stressing or crying over it? Because you can't do anything about it. And that's kind of the way I feel right now. So, so my total is going to be 2000 for my emergency fund. I wanted to add 430 to make it an even 2000. Um, this is really, really important to me guys, because like I said, I've never really been in the situation where I have felt so, um, so much stress and uncertainty about my job. And I just realized, you know, it's been a long time that I haven't been addressing the future or the unknown, you know, and it brought this whole situation to actually make me sit up and take notice. You know, I, I don't have enough money in the bank. We don't have enough saved up. We don't have that emergency fund that's so important for people. And, um, you know, there's a part of me that is mad at myself and there's a part of me that's like, what's the point in being upset over it? You know, again, it's one of those situations where it is what it is and we just have to deal with it. So, um, I don't know. That's kind of, I'm going down a dark path, guys. <laughs> I have to stop this. Okay. So what's, what's good in, in this moment is that I have this money to stuff these envelopes. So I'm very excited. So let's work our way backwards. So for the emergency fund, we are adding $430. So 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 420, and four hundred and thirty dollars so that is amazing that makes this an even two thousand dollars which i am extremely extremely excited about and i just could not be you know more pleased with um progress that's going in the right direction so I am going to have to come back and fill out those new cards. But here we have our $2,000. We only have 16000 and some dollars to go. Good Lord. All right. So for savings, we are adding $250. So $100. Mm, no, let's do it backwards. Okay. $20, $40, $60, $80, $120, 40 60 82 and 250 okay so let's put that with what we already have okay all right so these are in order now so that is 850 dollars all right and then for the dogs we were going to add 55 dollars so this needs reorganized. As you can see, I have, like I said, these little cards and I'm going to transfer the information onto these plain cards. So for the dogs, we were going to add $55. So 50 and five, 50 and five. And five. So a nice little addition, a nice little chunk of, chunk of money for the puppies. Okay, put these bills all in order. And I'm going to stick those back in the envelope for now. All right. So then Christmas, last but certainly not least, we were adding $100, which means we should have 620 So 20 40 60 80 and one from today. And then 200 300 400 500 600 and 20 all right, so that's kind of what I want to do. I want to come back. I want to talk about sinking funds, um, which I might do at the beginning of the week. Maybe I will talk as I transfer this information from, you know, these cards onto the new cards and tell you guys what my goals are because I really need to have a goal because I, like I said, I want to have like some kind of 
maybe some kind of chart to follow, especially for the Christmas club money. I definitely will have an end game for that, you know, an ending point. And for that to, for me to be able to figure that out, I need to actually work on my Christmas list. And I know that it's not even July yet, but I need to do that in order to have good solid numbers in my head of what I'm going to need for different gifts and things like that. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, I really like to hear your feedback. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight because I like this to all be color coded. I'm really ashamed at my handwriting and I don't know why my handwriting is so atrocious late lately, but it really is. And um, I really need to work on that. So um, this is my new balances. And if you're interested, I always say this, I have these cute little adorable highlighters listed down below. They're really inexpensive, but they're so cute. And they're in like kind of these cream sickle colors, you know, like kind of ice cream colors. They're so, they're just so freaking cute. I love them. But anyway, um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you stuck around and did so. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. And of course, I hope to see you next time. Take care.